Hi Libra, welcome back to my channel, The Light of Grace, and this is Grace. It's time for another money reading. This will be for May 2024. Um, yeah, sorry for the little skip there because uh, um, I was out of town and then I got sick. So right now I'm recovering. I'm much, much better than before, than a couple of days ago. So thank god for that but okay let's go back to the reading this is going to be general not everything in my resonance to take what resonates drop does not and i do not sugarcoat as a coat i say it as i see it and as i feel intuitively okay so money reading what's come for what's coming for my libra this may 2024 you have the tower clarified by the judgment in reverse number 20 2 plus 0 2 10 of rods or 10 of wands advice guidance and messages from the divine in the universe you have the poised number 48 4 plus 8 12 and 2 plus 1 3 balance spirituality and practicality Hostilities, number 26, 2 plus 6, 8. Stay positive. Be strong. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. I see two situation here with this tower okay one positive interpretation and one negative interpretation with the negative interpretation or not so good interpretation for the tower you know tower is well known for unexpected trouble unexpected problem unexpected upheaval and this has got to do with being so uptight with money the reason why i say is because the judgment in reverse is an indication when it comes to finance that it's you are too 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 careful or too analytical about your money That even if it's burdening you, that you not gonna let go of that control. And I can't blame you because you work so hard for it with the Ten of Rods. You work so hard for your money. Money is not coming easy for my Libras for quite a while already. And, and if you have money now, it's because you work so hard for it. And I kudos you. But with the judgment in reverse, it's also saying lack of judgment when it comes to your money. And having that problem having this control having the lack of judgment having too much of this uptightness 
when it comes to your money, it's going to cause a problem with your finance. It can be about disagreement with the hostilities here. What I'm getting here with the surrounding card is saying that you are so this to your money. There's nothing wrong about that. But when it comes to this too uptight that every that some people is going to be annoyed by it. Because it's like saying you have the money but why you're so uptight about the money. Why you are so giving so much importance and holding on to that money so tight and it's like saying why don't you give yourself a treat you know treat yourself but you're gonna say well I don't want to I'm trying to save my money I work so hard for this you know I gotta be prepared but you have enough maybe a little bit of a dinner with friends a little bit shopping here and there it's not gonna harm your money but it seems it's causing a little bit of a friction. Not just the outs, the people that you're dealing with, but also within yourself. You are causing this burden, some energy in your finance. If you hear some snoring, that's my baby Brewster, my doggy. And this tower here is going to be a problem. You need to take to release that control. It feels like you look a little defensive here. Like don't bother with my money. Don't touch my money. Don't. say what i can do or what i cannot do with my money this is my money i have the right that seems to be the interpretation that i'm getting from these facilities becoming hostiles because you're protecting yours there's nothing wrong about protecting yours but there at some point in time when it becomes too much of a burden because you're controlling it too tight you're controlling your money too tight and this is a warning that there is going to be a problem if you keep doing this. And this could be anything. And sometimes it hurts when you have that, when you're holding onto your money so tight and a problem comes in. Meaning like you have to pay something unexpectedly and it's going to be a lot of money. You're going to be really heartbroken. You're going to be really problematic because now it's like, oh my God, I've been, you've been holding so tight and now I have to pay this. You're going to be angry. You're going to be mad. You're going to be upset. And that could be the tower because you are holding into that money. Your reasoning is no longer right. Twenty two plus zero two is balance. You gotta handle this with balance. So when somehow the problem comes in and you need to, you know, pay something unexpectedly or take care of some financial problem, that it wouldn't be so burdensome to you, that it wouldn't hurt you so much to pay to release the money because you know there is a need for it. It's important. There is a good reason to why you're doing it. But with this, even if it's a good reason, it's, it's hurting you so much. As far as advice and guidance for this energy, who's, who's resonating with this, the divine is just chill, relax, set free yourself, don't be uptight. There's got to be a balance of spirituality and practicality. Practicality is the finance. Spirituality is, is having that control with your emotions and what's right and what's wrong. And knowing what's going to cost the balance. What, what, 
knowing how to balance this and making sense with the situation, you have to balance spirituality and practicality. It has to make sense. It's not just going to be all money, money. And like what I said, money is important, right? But when you're holding it too much, it hurts to let it go. It causes conflict. Now for the other energy, the positive one. So there is situation in your life. This is another group, okay? If you don't resonate with the other one, maybe this one. That is struggling with the ten of wands. It's struggling. Wondering when you can get out of this situation. This financial problem. This financial situation. This darkness that you're in when it comes to your finance. Okay? Maybe... You're having some problem with other people. It could be your person, your husband, your wife, your boss, co-workers, or something. Something that you have some financial involvement. It seems like there is a bit of a con conflict between you and them or them and you. Or you're having conflict within yourself. Because here you are, you're working so hard to save money. You're working so hard to change your financial stability, to change to to get your stability, to get your finance into a stable situation. It's a lot of a struggle for you with the ten of rods. It does cause conflict, and you're wondering when it's gonna turn around. When is it gonna change? Well, you know what, the tower means that there is something big that's going to change the situation. Something big, and I don't know what that is. It could just be a realization. It could just be a sudden awareness or, or a clarity. That maybe the clarity is about you needing to balance yourself. That there is no need for you to really put so much of your time and energy, physical energy and mental energy and emotional energy to making the money. But instead, balance yourself. Because if you work too hard, too much, you're going to get sick. You're going to get weakened physically and energetically. The divine is saying you got to stay positive, be strong, and there is the light at the end of the tunnel. This will end all our problems in life. Or even when we are stuck in a situation that is not so pleasant. It is all temporary. It's not permanent. It will change. The only thing is that we don't know. When. I can't tell you when it's going to change. But the most important thing is how do we face the problem? How do we handle the problem? With this here, the point is saying you got to let go of the control. You got to learn how to balance your spirituality and practicality by getting some more sleep. Instead of getting another, get, instead of doing overtime, get some rest. Have a cup of tea. Have some boba drinks. Watch some comedy shows, comedy movies. Go out with your friends. It takes that tension off you, off you. It takes that burdening energy off you, even little by little. But if you're gonna be hard headed on that, I'm telling you, the tower is gonna come to you this May 2024 to change the way you take care of money, the way you take care of yourself. The way you're going to realize that you're, you're not balanced as far as handling your physical body and your mental body and your emotional body because you are really, really putting so much effort to make some money. And there's nothing wrong with making some money. 
It's better to make some money than to be lazy and not make some money, right? So I kudos you for working so hard, but you gotta have, you gotta, you gotta take care of yourself. At some point in time, you need self care, or else you're gonna, you're gonna get sick. You're gonna be drained. You're gonna be exhausted, and there's nothing left for you to enjoy your life if you abuse yourself. All right. This is your reading, my dear Libra. I thank you so much. I am sending you lots of love and light. Bye-bye.